Alright, what's going on guys? It's Nature's Jewels coming at you. I just thought it'd be fun to do a little video, a little DIY video from uh, a video I just watched a little while ago from the king of DIY himself, Joey, or while we're Joey, if you've been watching him for a long time. But in one of his videos, he actually did a little bottle filter. I'm doing a really small bottle, actually. I got like a 12-pack of these at like a local uh, dollar store. And uh, for the purposes I'm using for, like small two and a half gallons or, or just uh, tiny little, uh, you know, guppy holding tanks, that's exactly what this is going to be for. Because I'm excited about getting into guppies. I just got a couple females. I thought it would be fun for, for myself and, and my, uh, my family to watch, uh, you know, the little, you know, live bearers be born and grow and see what kind of color colors and patterns we start to produce and so yeah this is my little spin on it in the video he actually recommended using either ceramic cylinders or lava rock which he didn't do the lava rock uh, bottle filter but I had a ton of this left over if you watched any of my other videos um, from the vivarium so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot and see how well it works but I thought this would be a lot better than just having an airline running into the the tank I'm sure the guppies are fine that way but a little bit extra you know to make them comfortable so they can uh, release those babies and start this process moving forward I thought it would be really great I'm gonna go ahead and apologize that GoPro is no longer with me I'll have to be getting a new uh, camera so if anybody has any recommendations I think I'm probably gonna go with another hero just a newer model <clears throat> because I enjoy working with them so much and they do have a better picture quality but uh, yeah we're just gonna give it a shot here so got my biological media I'm just gonna drill it all up and hopefully I can get this thing set up at a decent angle where you can see me and hopefully you can't hear me because I'm just doing this real quick in the bathroom to show you how easy some of this stuff can be and if you do a little research you can go a long way for the health of your animals your fish and uh, other things like that so Let's get started. Let's give it a whirl. I'm just going to flip this around here. <clears throat> so, hopefully you guys are going to be able to see everything I'm doing. I'm not sure if it's in frame or not, but, uh, you know, we'll give it a shot here. So, I suppose I could empty this right away, but I feel like the water pressure on the bottle might give me a little bit of extra um, pressure don't want to go through too deep now it's going to be more tricky and they're making them out of much thinner plastic now all right so there's that top section because this is actually going to be the top of the filter uh, this is going to be where the filter, the mechanical filter is. We're going to put a, the airline tubing. I'm going to make a nice little hole for it here. And then I'm going to fill this section with the lava rock. And then the air is going to travel through pulling any, um, you know, pre-filtered uh, water through the mechanical filtration up through the biological and then back out into the tank. So let's go ahead and switch over to the side here and this is the tricky one because I don't want to make it too big kids don't try this at home that is for sure make sure you do it with a 
parent or adult, a guardian of some kind. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's a little too large, but you know what? That can be fixed. No. No, that's going to work out great. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I'm losing my crap here. So we're going to do a couple holes in the lid. I don't have a smaller drill bit. Don't laugh at me, okay? Just got this gigantic tapered one that I use for uh, boring huge humongous holes. That'll do the job. Carve that out a little bit with a knife, but uh, or the scissors. Look at that. Yeah. Like I said I just want to show you how quick and easy this this can all be done. You know, no crazy engineering behind it. Just uh, a little bit of know-how. You know, that Napa know-how. Just kidding. Of course, we do have one local in my little town here, so that's the one I go to the most. I wish they were sending me a check for, for saying all that, but I am not sponsored by them. Anyway, you can see my crappy little holes in this lid right here. I'm good enough. Oh, yeah. For me, good enough. Look, it's not even beautiful or anything fancy, but that's the great part about it, because you're not even going to see it. So let's go ahead and fill this with my Avarok Media. Boy, this is going to be time consuming. Where's the video editor when you need it, huh? If you guys don't want to watch me fill up this whole bottle, just feel free to skip to the end. Yeah, this is just going to be, like I said, a little two and a half gallon filter. You know, I didn't have to pay hardly anything for like I said it was a 12 pack of these little bottles for like two bucks can't go wrong local dollar general you know and yeah all right well that rock's a little too big and this is just a bunch of leftover lava rock from my vivarium build Trying to get some of these smaller pieces because then you get a lot more um, surface area. Not too small. For the uh, air bubbles to move around and agitate the lava rock. And this is stuff that I wouldn't have been able to use in the vivarium anyway because I was looking for a much higher flow rate. This stuff. This would have been a nightmare if everything in there was this size. If you're saying, we want to see the vivarium, we do, we do. Most of you guys have been checking out that, that last video. That was just, uh, uh, let's say, a couple days ago, five days ago or so. Still doing great. All right, now I don't want to fill up this entire container, but I think that's pretty damn close right here. A couple more. Because I just want, I wanted to show you how fast this is. This is the longest part of 
the, the whole thing. I'm, I'm, I promise you that. I promise this is going to take the longest right here. Bam, done. Alright, so full lava rock. I actually already rinsed this really well. So that's good to go. Alright, now we gotta do a little trimming. So I'm gonna take the cap, basically try to center it so I have a nice little wrap around it. And I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than uh, Joey recommended. But uh, I'm gonna do it a little different because I'm gonna actually gonna wrap it around it and just use a zip tie, which I thought would like work great. So this is the little bit more coarse side, this is the more filter side, so I'm going to put the coarse side on the inside, on the bottom side of this cap right here, so that it filters through the, the more um, coarse side of the media first. And we're just going to do like, I don't know, about a two inch square. If you guys love Joey's videos, hit me on a, on a thumbs up here and make sure to shoot over to his channel. and. Let him know, uh, you know, we all appreciate what he's been doing for the hobby. All right, let me go get a, a quick uh, zip tie. Bam, there it is, you can't see it, it's white. So that's the nice thing about all this, it's gonna be really, really, um, it's small, I'm shooting for small here. It's all gonna be really streamlined, but I don't even know if you can see this in the shot. But so I'm just placing this over the cap, because I don't have a thick, block of like filter foam media which would work actually better because then you could take it off and clean it a lot easier but I'm gonna have a little bit of this foam over this hole so it creates some resistance on that airline tubing when we go ahead and pop it over there a couple clicks here Make sure it stays on. Help if my hands weren't wet. Yeah. There you go. I mean, that's in a sense what it's going to look like here coming up. Let's go ahead and show you the tank it's going on. bang nice little uh, nice little filter here and here's the little tank that it's going on you can see I just plopped a little air filter in there for now I got a little bit of Java moss in there you can see one of the big gravid females in there I got another one oh she's down there underneath the spider wood I got this in here just to make them feel really secure and actually give the babies a lot more hiding spaces it's not supposed to be a permanent home. These girls will be going back up into the main tank up here with my uh, with my guy. Where is my, my golden boy? There he is. My handsome guy. So, so proud of him. But yeah, this is just going to be a little filter going on here. Let me see if I can get this to where you can see what's going on. Damn, not having a tripod. See? Come in handy. Keep telling the missus. Christmas gift ideas, honey. Christmas gift ideas. Alright. Yeah. It's good enough. You guys can kind of see what's going on. So I'm just going to remove this air pump right here. I got a little light on it. It actually creates heat for the fish and uh, uh 
There we go. Let's see. That's simple. Creates a little heat for the fish and a little light for the plants, and then there's the filter we just made. It does take up quite a bit of space. I'll probably take that um, spider wood out of there. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna take it out right now. Uh, whew, that light gets warm. Take this out of here. Uh, making a mess of everything now. All right, there we go. So, I guess now that I took that wood out of there, my next step will probably be to spread out that grass a little bit more. I have some up in the main tank, just in case some fry get loose in there, but uh, and I'll top up this tank a little bit more, and there's your effective filter. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. If you've got any, uh, questions or concerns about this obviously voice them but uh, I think that's gonna work out pretty good like I said once I get a little more once I get a little more water in there it'll get a little more surface agitation for the uh, oxygen exchange rate to the water ratio and uh, it'll be pretty good all right guys thanks for viewing later